In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress form which has a file upload option as well. Now, why would you want to create this? There are plenty of examples. And if you're watching this video, you probably know why you want to create it. But just for people who are watching this for knowledge purposes, they just want to learn how to do this and why they can do this. Let me just give you a few scenarios where this can be useful. If you, let's say, are an e-commerce brand and you send off, obviously send products to users, you might tell them to, hey, share your images with when you're using the product in some way so that we can feature you on our social media. That's one use case. If you have a, let's say, a tech support kind of a business where you have, you solve people's problems, you might want to have some screenshots of the problems that they are having with a specific product. So in that case, you can create a form that where people can upload screenshots. And th third scenario would be, hey, running contests. If you're running a, a photography contest, then you will need to have images coming in photographers so that you can judge them on their photography skills. And there are plenty of other use cases where you can use a file upload option inside WordPress for users or enable users to actually upload files to the site. If you're accepting job applications, then you might accept PDFs. If you want photographs, you might accept JPGs or PNGs. So all of these scenarios can be covered with the video that I'm going to do or show you right now. So let's begin the video. So this is the WordPress website we'll be working with and it's a completely blank website, so nothing on it. So everything that I'll do, I'll do from scratch. You can just follow along. So what we'll be using to create this kind of functionality on our website is WP Forms. WP Forms is one of the biggest or I'd say most popular form build of WordPress. It's completely free to use for basic use cases. But for today's use case, what we'll be doing, we'll be using the pro version of WP Forms. So what you need to do is go to WP Forms forms.com i'll leave a link on the um, right here on the screen and as well also in the description and as well as in the pinned comment you can go and check out all the features that are useful to you but for file uploads you'll need the pro version as i said anyways so just go here figure out the pricing make a purchase if you want to otherwise first watch the video and then decide if you want to make a purchase once you've made the purchase you need to log into your account so if i'll do this right now i'll be able to log into my account you're already logged in i'll go into my account and inside my account, you'll have to do two things. You can see this is my overview or this is the account overview. I'll go into downloads where I'm able to download the license key or copy the license key, which is right here. I'll blur part of it and I'll click this button to download the WP Forms zip file on my computer. This is the plugin file we'll be installing inside WordPress. And that is how you'll install WP Forms on your website. The pro version, the free version can be installed directly from the WordPress repository. So once this is done, once you have the license key saved to your computer and once you have WP Forms downloaded the zip file, then we can get, uh, go back to WordPress and continue the process. I'm here and to install plugins on our site, we'll go to plugins, add new plugin. So here we'll have all these options, but we'll choose the upload plugin option because we have the zip file we'll need to upload. Once this is done, I'm gonna drag and drop the zip file from my computer off screen and I'll just drag and drop it here. And let's click install now because you can see wpforms.zip is now activated. So I'll click install now and this will start the installation process for WP Forms. It'll take just a few seconds to finish. So once this is done, we'll proceed to the rest of the video. All right, it's already done. Let's activate the plugin. All right, so WP Forms is now installed. But since we have the license key, we'll also need to activate the plugin so that you can all use all the pro features. So for that, go to WP Forms and go to settings. And inside settings, you'll have, have the option of adding your license key here. So just copy the license key. I'm gonna just copy it from my uh, the, uh, my computer here and copy it. And I'll just paste it here. And I'll place or click verify key. And now my site is updated with the premium version of WP Forms and I can get automated updates. And also I can go and ask support for any issues that I have. So once this is done, now the plugin is set up. Now we need to create a new form on our site, which can have a functionality for file uploads. So to do that, we can directly jump into the add new functionality from the WP Forms menu. I'll click here. And this will take us or go through the building process of creating a form. Now, the best thing about WP Forms is that you have tons of pre-built forms already created for you. So you don't have to start from scratch and do everything yourself. So you can see you have a contact form, quote, donation, billing, newsletter sign up, suggestion, accident report. And there are hundreds of literally hundreds of forms available to you for inspiration or if you just want to import it directly on your site. What I'm going to do is start with a simple form so I can showcase some of the other functionality of WP Forms while getting the job done. 
So I'll use the simple contact form. I'll click use template. And this will open up the form builder or the form customizer. And you can change the name of the plugin and name of the sorry, name of the form and all that. That's completely up to you. If you go into setup process here, if I go back and click here, I can also name this form. So let's say if I name it, hey, photography contest, just to give you an example. Photography contest submission. And I'll click uh, use template once again. Yes, I'll just click it once again. So just showing you the process that, hey, you can actually edit the name of the form, go back and start. So this is the uh, form builder. On the right hand side, what you see is the final form, how it's going to look on your website. And on less, uh, the left side, you have all the fields that you can add to your forms. In the standard fields, you see the text based option, drop downs, multiple, uh, I'd say choice options, numbers, check boxes. These are very useful. What we are mainly interested in is the fancy fields. This is the pro feature I was talking about. Now, we already see the file upload option here, but I'll just run you through all the different options available. You can have a phone number, address, which can autofill, a website URL, date time, file upload, which we'll be using, password, rich text, layout, page break, section divider, HTML content, preview, ratings, signatures, and all these other options. You also have payment options available. So if you want to collect, let's say a payment or donations, you can add these buttons here using Stripe or PayPal and directly collect payments with WP Forms. It's very powerful. Let's, uh, let me show you how to actually add the file upload field here inside this form. So what I'll do is just hover over the file upload field here, click and hold it, and just drag it on my form here. And you can see whenever I want to just let go, it will be added at that particular place. You can see the blue height, uh, outline already uh, representing where it's gonna be saved. So I'll just add it just below the email. And here we already have the form ready. So you, you can collect the name, email and file upload. So here's where they'll upload their uh, files or images and then the com comment. If you want to collect phone numbers as well, you can just drag the phone number field here as well and just let it go. And now you can collect phone numbers as well. I'm going to skip it for now. So I'll delete it and go here. Now, every field that you add can be customized based on, hey, does it require field? What do you want the placeholder to be? So if you want to uh, see the relevant settings for a particular field, just click on it. So right now the file upload field is here. I'll click on it and instantly you see I'm inside the field options. So here's a label. So I can change the label to, hey, upload your photographs. And instantly you see, I can see a live preview here. I can also do a description here. And this is where it gets interesting, this allowed file extensions options. This is where you can customize what kind of files are users allowed to upload on your site. As I said in example, or in the previous example, if you have, let's say, a order confirmation form, you can have PDFs enabled. If you have a photography business, you can have JPGs. If you want to accept screenshots from users, then PNGs as well. And WordPress does have some restrictions on what kind of forms or what kind of file extensions uh, you can import due to security reasons. For example, I'm pretty sure SVGs will not be accepted, but JPGs, PNGs, PDFs, most common uh, image formats will be accepted. And here's how you add those specific conditions here. So let's say, for example, I am... Uh, I'll, I want to accept the JPG format and the PNG format. So what I'll do is I'll actually type it in using and including the dot of the extension as well. So I'll type dot JPG and then comma for another extension dot PNG. So what I'll do is I'll just zoom in on the screen for a second so I can actually show you how I've written this so that you can actually do this yourself. So it's dot JPG comma for next extension dot png and if i wanted to have pdfs then i'll just do the same thing comma dot pdf and then those file extensions will also be accepted in the next field you can configure what should be the maximum size you're willing to accept because do keep in mind anything that's uploaded right here from this form is going to take space on your server so you have to manage those space as well for a photography website i would say anything around 10 megabytes is fine. So just keep in mind, whatever size you specify is the size in megabytes that you're specifying. So since we are uh, doing a photography contest submission, uh, you need a higher resolution image, so 10 megabytes. Otherwise, if it's a tech support thing, you can have it to, let's say, 
two megabytes, I think that would be sufficient. Then you can also customize maximum number of files a user can submit. So it's this, we are running a hypothetical contest. I want users to be able to submit up to three images as an entries to this photography contest. So this is the basic configuration of the file upload field, but there's also a couple of things we can go and see in the advanced options. Inside the advanced options, you can have the styles and you have a couple of options. Let me explain what these are. Now this field, what you see here is the modern style, in which case users can drag and drop images directly on from their computer and have those uploaded directly on the site. Now, of course, they can use uh, the regular file explorer or the finder in Mac by clicking this area. But let's say, for, for example, this uh, some because some of some issue, this is not working for you or you don't like the look of it, then you can just go and switch to the classic option and then they'll have to click the dialog box or the button and choose the file uh, from their computer. This is similar to how we uh, use, or this is the look of this is very similar to how we installed WP Forms in the first place inside WordPress. So it's very familiar, but I'll switch stick with modern because I think it suits well or works well with the actual, uh, I'd say, theme of the form. Then you also have the option of uh, enabling this store file in WordPress media library. Now this is a very useful feature as I said, any image or any extension, any file will actually be saved on a server anyway. But let's say, for example, if you want to, let's say, create a post about, hey, here's the top 20 entries that we featured in our photography contest and the top three winners. In that case, you'll need to have those images uh, attached to a particular post. So it's good to have those images show up in your media library. And by enabling this option, whatever entries you'll see, will automatically be start showing up in your media library as well. So you'll be able to use them on your website. So it's useful to know what this uh, feature does. So depending on what use case you're using this for, you can enable it or disable this, okay? So going back, now we've set up everything. There are a couple of extra things you can configure. These are good to know when you're setting up a form like this. So for that, you, what you can do is just go back to add fields and go to settings here. Now inside the settings, there are a bunch of different settings, but most of them will be grayed out because we are not added a relevant functionality to the form. We just need to configure two main things. One is a notification and one is a confirmation. I'll just briefly talk about what these are and then you can configure them yourself. Notification is, think about what happens for you as the website owner when a form is submitted. The default option that WP Forms configures is that you get an email directly from WP Forms that, hey, an entry has been made. But what if you want to customize the messaging? What if you want to customize what emails get sent or you want to customize where the email goes? Or you want to add multiple actions that, hey, send this email and do two additional things as well. This is where you customize this. So right now, if I, uh, so I say collapse this, you'll see notifications have been enabled and this is the default notification. If I open this, you'll see that it's sent to the admin email and it's saying, hey, from the website, from and reply, reply. And it's saying, hey, what's the entry being made? And if the advanced options, you can see what's the email template be used, blah, 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 all these good options. So it's very powerful in terms of how you want to configure this. But if you want to add this or add another notification option, just click on this and you can create a new notification and you can have an email sent out or you have whatever actions you can configure. I already showed you the amount of configuration options here. So you can create multiple notifications per form, depending on what the use case is. And as for the confirmations, the confirmation is what the users see after they submit a form. Because let's say, for example, you want to have a, a notice displayed that, hey, your entry has been saved or thank you for getting in touch, we'll help you shortly, or you want to redirect them to another page. So in that case, you can configure all of these actions right here from confirmations. So right now you see the default confirmation is message, but you can also show uh, do show page or go to URL or redirect them to a site. So again, you can have multiple configurations or multiple confirmation set for users. But to keep in mind that if you have, let's say for example, show a message and also redirect, they might not have enough time to read the message. So I'll stick with the default one for now, just so you can see, but I'll customize the message here. So I'll say, thanks uh, for submitting your photographs, your entry to for the contest has been made successfully. So this is how I've customized the messaging, what users will see after they submit a form. So do keep in mind that I don't, I'm not saying you need to customize this, but you should know where to customize it if you require or you want to do this. And you have other options as well. And I'll just stick with the basic ones. Go back to the fields option. You see, you're happy with everything you've done. You're happy that, hey, I don't want to make any more changes to this forms. Just click the save button and this form will be saved. Now it's saved. But 
The next step is you want to add it to a page or a post on your site. So there are a couple of ways to do this. The simpler way is actually just click this embed button. Once you click the embed button, it'll say, hey, do you want to embed this on a page? And uh, yes, yeah. So in this case, what you can do is you can just create a new page directly from this option and this form will automatically be added to this page. So I'll say photography contest entry form. So once I do this, now, since I, when I click let's go, it'll create this new page on the site and add the form directly. So I'll click this and now the page is created and the form is automatically also added. But let me also show you how you would do this if you were doing this to an existing page. So I'll delete this form here and even I'll go back to or I'll just uh, yeah I'll go back to the website directly to the admin area and I'll show you how to do this so since I didn't save the changes there's no page on my site so you can do this for pages or you can do this for posts it works the same way I'll create a new page the regular way in WordPress I'll click this and I'll just add the title of the page once more I'll say photography contest entry form now, in the uh, actual content area or the body of the post, I'll add, add a new block to the page. I'll do uh, WP Forms. So this is a brand new block that WP Forms adds to the site. Once you click on it, you'll have the option of selecting which of these forms that you have created on the site do you want to embed on the site. So since we have just the one form, we'll just see one entry. But if, let's say you create 10 different forms, you can choose which form should be embedded on this particular page. So once you just click on this, the form will be embedded right here and it looks exactly how you created it. Now, before we actually test this out, I want to talk about the customization or the styling options with WP Forms. This was pushed out as a few months back, but it's underutilized and it will allow you to just customize your form and customize or beautify your form right here inside the WordPress builder. So if you just click on the WP form form or the block, you'll see the block options or block settings appear here. Now if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see you have themes options or as a pre-built themes view, which you can just click and apply to your form directly. And if you scroll down, you can even customize or change everything about the form manually. I like the theme option because it speeds up the process. So I'll just demonstrate a couple of themes for you. Let's go to and select the matrix option. So if I click the matrix option, you'll get a notice because this is using a background theme. That's completely fine. You just have to click continue once and install an add-on to your site. But now you see it's a beautifully customized form done for me. If I scroll down and I choose plaster, now it's a beautiful new theme. If I choose Sonic, this looks beautiful. Spring, this also looks nice. And you have Tidal, this also looks great. Tranquil, looks great. Let's stick with Sonic for now. I think it's a clean and nice design. And once this, I'm happy with this, I can even go down and customize all of these settings, the border values and everything, the colors and everything. So if you're not just limited to the styles that I showed you, you can customize everything, but the style is just faster way to get started. So once I'm happy with this, I'll just click the publish button, publish. And this form and this page is now published. I'll open it up in a new tab. And this is how it looks beautiful. So let's test out this site or test out this form as well. And I'll show you how to see the entries that are being made on the site as well. So I'll actually fill out this form. So what I'll do is just fill out my name and email. I'm not going to do my actual email. And now time to add the images. So I'll drag three images that I have and drag them directly uh, onto this form. And here goes. And you can see these are being uploaded in real time and I can say my entry and do keep in mind that sometimes you'll notice that the submit button is grayed out in that case just observe the images because if you're adding and testing this out if the image is not uploaded or still in the process of being uploaded the submit button is grayed out in the meanwhile or in the meantime so once you're happy once this is done I'll click the submit button and we should see the confirmation box that we customize or confirmation message that we customize. Thanks for submitting your photographs. Your entry for the contest had been made successfully. So this is how the functionality of the form works. But what about seeing uh, the entries that are being made? Now do keep in mind since we config configured WP Forms in a way that it sends you a notification. So it should send a notification to the admin email automatically that this entry has been made. Since this is a test site, I haven't configured the email properly. So I'm not gonna show you how the email looks, but we can still check out uh, 
WP Forms backend to see all the entries that are being made. So if I go back here and go to WP Forms or the admin area of my website, now if I go back to WP Forms and if I see inside all forms or inside the menu, I have entries here, but I can go to all forms directly. And inside the forms, if I hover over the form, you'll see the form menu here. And you have edit, which can edit the form and entries, which is where you can see the entries being made from this particular form. So if I click the entries button, you'll see this is the entry that we just made. And if I click the view button, I'll be able to see all the details about the entry. So name, the email and the, fo the photographs. So if I click this, this will actually download these photographs to my computer if I want to do this. And you can see all these complete details here. Now, since we enable the option of adding the images directly to our media library, if you go to the media library, you will see the images here as well. Now, do keep in mind that these are the originals of what the user has submitted. These are not copies of it. So if you delete it from here, they'll be deleted from the form entry as well. So do keep in mind, do not delete this unless that is what you're intending to do. So this is the image first that I first image or third image I uploaded. This is another image I uploaded and this is another image I uploaded. Now, just to demonstrate, if I go to a new post on my site and create a new post, I can use these very images that were just added to the gallery. So if I go to media library, you'll see these images. Now I can add them to post on my site directly as well. That was the benefit of that feature. And if you go back and leave this, we can go to WP forms, all forms, and now you can customize the form. You can change the form. And the benefit of using the approach is if let's say you want to change this, edit this form anytime or any place you've added this form will be updated automatically. So you don't have to go to 10 different locations. If you use this form in 10 different locations and update it, it'll be updated automatically. And whenever a new entry is made, you'll get an email and go into the entries option and see all the entries that are ma being made with this particular form. And all the details, as I already showed you, all the details about this will be captured and you can just download them, export them and do whatever you like with these entries on your WordPress website. All right. So this is about this, uh, the end of the video. I just showed you completely a step-by-step -step process of how to create a WP form or how to create a form on your website, which accepts file uploads. And I also explain a variety of scenarios where you can use this functionality on your WordPress website. If you have any questions, then the comment box is open. Otherwise you can like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And if you want to continue WordPress education, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and also share this video with someone who think will benefit from this message. And you're watching Yuvraj from WBeginner. I'll catch you in the next video very soon. Take care.